17 years ago, myself and our top network forensic analysts were escorted by armed soldiers into the Pentagon to assist in communications recovery. Join me as we remember. A call to service that led them right into the ruins of the Pentagon. And the job that they did there helped speed the recovery at the nerve center of the U.S. military and to get the war on terrorism up and running. Dave Marquis reports. Goosebumps are in my hair standing on end, wondering, you know, what, uh, you know, what my country's about to ask me to do. Oil. For Bill Alderson, challenges Can usually come without warning, there? but the Sunday afternoon call from a Pentagon general still came as a shock. We need the best company in the world at uh, doing critical problem resolution, and he says, and everyone's told us that you're the company. When Flight 77 hit the Pentagon, much of the damage came at the heart of the U.S. Army's computer network, and the toll on human lives was far worse. So they lost many critical um, personnel. Claire. The next morning, Alderson and five of Pine Mountain Group's top engineers were on their way to Washington. They will never forget their arrival. Oh, Two-fifths of the Pentagon was gone. Computers, servers, an entire network had been shattered, its remains reassembled in another part of the building. But after 11 days, it was barely working. The Pentagon could hardly talk to itself. You know, those are the sort of moments that you prepare for all of your life. To be Alderson and his engineers went to work, searching for bottlenecks and broken connections in a maze of systems whose online documentation was mostly missing. And you have the internet, firewalls, routers, VPNs, VLAN switches. The Folsom-based company is to computer networks what a forensics expert is to a murder case, trying to decipher clues that will solve a mystery others have given up. I basically try to get a three-dimensional view of the technology. I tron into these systems and try and figure out how they're working. Like others at the Pentagon, he and his engineers working under extreme pressure. His team began quickly finding the bottlenecks. So we did an optimization here, increased it, and then we found another problem and increased it. Performance on one important data link soon improved by six times, and within days the system was back up and running near capacity. To Alderson and others at the Pentagon, getting things running normally was the best way to answer back. We should be moving on with life as usual or even more so uh, in the face of danger. That's what Americans are about. He and his company are ready for the next call. Until then, Alderson believes answering the threat of terror means living as we have always lived. Our retaliation is going out and doing what we always do. And that's the best retaliation and that's how we're going to overcome. And they do it very, very well. And by the way, that next call did come. Bill Alderson and his team recently returned from another troubleshooting trip to the Pentagon, and they're ready to go back again when they're needed. Great work from Bill Alderson and his team.